we want to prove that 10, uh, the compound angle formula for 10. So let us write the compound angle formula for 10. So the formula can be written as 10 uh, alpha plus theta. This is the formula. So let us write the formula first and then we will prove this. So this is 10 alpha. If it is plus, you put a plus. So 10 alpha plus 10 beta over the denominator would be 1 minus. If it is plus, you put a plus in the numerator. And the denominator, you put a minus between 1 minus 10 alpha 10 beta. So in the previous videos, two, two videos, I proved the compound angle formulas for of cos, cosine and sine. So we're going to use that. Uh, to prove 10 alpha plus beta. So let me write. So the left hand side is 10 alpha plus beta. So 10 alpha plus beta is same as sine alpha plus beta over cos alpha plus beta. So uh, let us look up at for the formula for sine a plus b. So sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So sine alpha plus beta can be written as sine alpha cos beta. If it is plus, it's a plus there. So plus cos alpha sine beta over so cos alpha plus beta, cos alpha a plus b is cos a sine b minus sine a sine b. So if it is plus, you have to put a minus there. So the denominator would be cos alpha cos beta minus, if it's a plus, you have to put a minus sine alpha sine beta. Now the next step is something you have to remember. It's not intuitive. Uh, it has an intuition, the answer, the, we want a one year. Now to get a one year, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide, I, I have to divide this term cos alpha by cos beta by cos alpha cos beta. So what I'm going to do is dividing, so let me change color, dividing each term, the next step I'm going to divide, I'm dividing each term of the numerator and denominator by cos alpha cos beta cos alpha cos beta cos beta so let me write that again so this will become uh, so let me re rewrite so this is sine alpha cos beta over cos alpha cos beta cos alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta over again cos alpha cos beta. I'm going to we are dividing each of the expression or each of the term by cos alpha cos beta. So the denominator now we are starting the denominator. So the denominator is cos alpha cos beta over cos alpha cos beta. So if you're doing something to each of the term, you are allowed. So the denom last denominator or last term of the denominator is sine alpha sine beta over cos alpha cos beta. So what will get cancelled? Let us cancel whatever can be cancelled. So your cos beta and cos beta can be cancelled here. Cos alpha and cos alpha gets cancelled, this and this gets cancelled, this and this gets cancelled, and uh, nothing gets cancelled here. So, what is remaining? So, remaining, you have sine alpha over cos alpha, which is 10 alpha, plus, remains plus, this is sine alpha, this should be sine beta, isn't it? I made a mistake here, it should be sine beta here. So I should write I should write here sine beta. Okay, so sine beta over cos beta will become tan beta over this becomes one minus this is tan alpha tan beta. 
tan alpha tan beta so this is our tan alpha plus beta so now let us look at tan alpha minus beta okay so tan alpha minus beta can be written as tan alpha plus negative beta so we can use the this formula for this so this will become tan alpha plus tan negative beta over 1 minus tan alpha tan negative beta now I'll explain graphically and uh, uh, with a, analytically uh, that tan negative beta is tan or negative tan beta okay so if you draw if I can find the tan graph yeah here's a tan graph so tan graph is again like your sine graph it has a it's an odd function or it has got a, a point symmetry over the origin so if you take say if you take say 10 10 45 we know is 1 so 10 45 so this is 90 10 45 is pi by 4 so 10 45 so this is a 45 year this is 45 so 10 45 is 1 but if you take uh, 10 negative 45 that will be negative 1 so symmetrically uh, you can understand I hope you can understand 10 45 uh, graphically you can see is negative 1 so let us let me show this on a calculator so if you do 10 45 is 1 but if you go 10 negative 45 would be negative 1 so and so generalizing it so you can say that 10 of a negative angle is same as minus 10 of the angle so 10 negative alpha is minus 10 alpha it is similar to the sine graph okay so yeah using the same using this rule 10 negative beta will make this plus minus and 10 negative beta will make this negative to positive so let me rewrite therefore i can say 10 alpha minus beta is equal to is equal to 10 alpha minus 10 beta over 1 plus 10 alpha 10 beta so it's easy to remember if you want to remember it's good if you can remember these formulas uh, that if it is minus here you put a minus and if it's a minus here you put a plus and for 10 alpha plus beta if it's a plus you put a plus and if it's a plus here you put a minus